and welcome to this presentation where we're going to demonstrate for you how to undertake a urinalysis test of a urine sample using a standardised uh, urinalysis test strip. Now pre to prepare for a urinalysis to be uh, undertaken you need to have uh, the following equipment basically a freshly produced urine sample that you can verify has come from the patient you're intending to test you're going to need a timing device because it's important to interpret and read your test results as indicated on the, the, the panel and test strip at the specified times. You're going to need a, an absorbent sheet, either tissue paper or something that you can lay the test strip onto. This is important to absorb any uh, additional liquid or urine that may be on the test strip so that it dries quite quickly and you avoid contamination of chemicals from one pad to another. This can uh, make interpretation difficult if that isn't uh, conducted. Uh, the other thing you need to do is know that you're familiar with the actual test strips and that you've checked the expiry date of the test strips. And the other important thing to validate before undertaking uh, the test is not only the expiry date on the test strips that you're about to use, but that the product hasn't been opened for more than the specified period that the manufacturer states in the data sheet, which in most cases will be three months. If the tests have been opened for longer than three months, you should consider their possibility of uh, corrupt results because of the risks of atmospheric moisture absorption. One way to get an indication of whether this has occurred, if you're not uh, absolutely certain of when the test strips were open, is to get one out and you should familiarise yourself with the way they are read and which end to interpret the results from. The colour matches on the dry test strip in fresh test strips should more or less match the colours on the all negative test pads with the exception of the specific gravity. Okay, So if that's the case this is a good indication that you've got a test strip that's okay to use. Now to perform a test you take the test strip and dip it into a urine sample just for a couple of seconds and then lay it flat onto an absorbent surface just to absorb any excess moisture that is there. Now, previously you need to have noted the read times for the specific parameters and these will be specified on the product. Glucose on this is indicated at 30 seconds, ketones 40 seconds, specific gravity 45, blood, pH, protein and nitrates at 60 seconds, so it's important from when you've dipped it you've noted the time in order to initially start reading. Now they don't have to be absolutely precise, you usually have one or two minutes either uh, way after these specified times to still get an accurate test result. But that is the, the timings that you've got to look at so I can start reading the glucose as negative at this stage, timings, ketones negative, specific gravity normal, blood normal, We've got some pH change on this, which is starting to occur, taking it to around a 7. Protein is a negative result, nitrates negative, and the leukocytes, when this test has been dipped for the full two minutes, can be read. But this is indicating a uh, negative result. We're just coming up to two minutes now. So that completes the test. You need to have the ability to note the results that you've found, particularly if you've uh, found any positive results on the parameters that you're testing for. The other things that should be noted obviously on the urine sample is its colour, any precipitates or cloudiness in the urine, and if there are any particular smells or odour associated with the sample. If it's very uh, um, monocle it may indicate an old sample and not a fresh sample. We also need to note the presence of any ketones with a sort of pear drops type odour. All these would be significant findings that should be noted in the clinical report for that urinalysis.